Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to episode, what are we on, 15 of Space Age. The wonderful Factorio DLC that we are loving so much. I went ahead and researched all of the level 2 modules, so now I can create those. They're kind of expensive, needing 5 blue chips and 4 of the previous modules each, but I think it will be worth it to get some quality modules to tier two. So what we're gonna do is find a space where we have green, blue, and red circuits, which is right here. And we're gonna take advantage of that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You guys just chowing down on a rock over there, apparently. Uh, okay, so we have biter problem. Oh, jeez, our pollution cloud has really blossomed as of late. Well, looks like we're going to hop in the tank and do some biter no biting. But before that, let's set up some quality module twos. God, the buffer on this belt is nuts. Maybe, you know, okay, hold on. The total volume is not massive. This is a good time for logistics bots. Let's not, let's not do this. On second thought, let us not. Um, oh, but mm, the problem is we can't pick and choose where the items come from. I guess I can just go right here. Well, that was a load bearing power pole. Let's just do it like this. Easy enough. Um. I need a provider chest. I need an inserter here. Enabled. Everything less than like 100 modules. Those I can't put quality in because if they throw a quality module, this will throw a fit. But I can put quality modules in this one. Uh, do I have any higher quality, quality modules? Quality, 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 quality. We're just going to be saying the word quality over and over and over again. That cons constituates, that constitutes language now. All right, there we go. So that gives us a 6.4% chance at an upgrade. Which is unlikely to happen before we have four of these. Because even just one of these is better than a rare of those. Which is interesting. But I have four rare quality ones. So if only I had rare blue chips too. We haven't been collecting rare blue chips. I have some rare red chips somewhere. This is so nuts. Ugh. Yeah. I think nuclear power is probably something we want to do next. And then I don't have to worry about power for a long time. So, let's mine some uranium, apparently. Have to do that first. I'll research blue belts along the way. And we already did one of those steel plates. Mining productivity could be nice. I will need space platform thrusters. That's, that's probably thinking more towards next, next episode. Oh, apparently if you double click it, it adds things. So yeah, is there anything else we, like, need big time before we get to other planets? Atomic bomb. Atomic bomb. Uh, let's do military four and then power armor. Oop, oop, 
Oh, what's that? Oh, mech armor? Who? Me? Uh, do you really need cover X? No. Uh, lasers? Have we not done lasers? No, we did lasers. I just haven't done all the shooting speeds because we didn't have a long enough research queue when I queued those up earlier. So first thing to do is grab some uranium. That's going to be easy because we already have sulfuric acid right here. So barely an inconvenience. And Oh no, we need to go kill those biters. Right. If I do it like that, then we have full coverage and don't have to move anything. Alright. So there's that. Um, I guess that sort of complicates... Uh, this. And then we do this, and this, and this. Alright, now where is that sulfuric? Of course, it's all the way up there. So, spaghetti our way up, and then over to here. Of course, that can't go all the way over. Oh my goodness. Alright. There we go. Sulfuric's connected. And there's our first uranium. Ta-da! Spicy green rocks. I like it to spicy rocks. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But that should have unlocked cover X enrichment process if we want to do that and also nuclear fuel reprocessing but really I don't need any of that I just want this one nuclear fuel so we'll skip over oh oops skip over the lasers for now we'll come back to those after I know I could have reordered it I forgot about it don't hate me all right let's go kill those biters uh, I do need some shells. I have the fuel. Let me grab some more shells. I also don't want crushers or asteroid collectors or space dust platforms. Don't need those anymore. Flying robot frames, stone. Mm, tier 1 assemblers, don't need that. All right. Centrifuges. Yes, I can I make those now or do I still need it? No, I don't need to do more research. All right, so centrifuges will be the first thing that I just say screw it. And we request it all with bots. And we just let them have a good time. All right, so the problem is, is this going to craft a million? No, that's actually reasonable. I'll allow it. Why do we have so little? Oh, it's just a lack in bot number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, we should also queue up an upgrade for the cargo size now that I'm going to be using logistics a bit more. And we'll grab some more logi boats. A rare beacon could be worth using in space for something. I feel like. Actually, no. We get two of those uncommon bots. Here, that'll help somehow. Alright, there's a lot of bots. Let's get in our tank, grab some ammo. This should be enough shells. We need to get some more uncommon ammo going. Ooh, I know a way to do that. I know of a good way to do that. Have better quality modules. 
And then where's our rare quality? Or Oh, this is so hard. Our tier two quality module production. We even have some uncommon tier two quality modules. There we go. So now we're up to 8.8% and we're down to not full power. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thing one that we can do is this. No, 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 that's all wrong. Why is that not lining up? Should be lining up, there we go. All right, we'll let the bots figure that out. And then grab a tank and Oh boy, here I go killing again. Can I get... Hold on. I know I'm doing all these other researches, but can I do projectile shooting speed, or do we need, like, Vulcanus first? We can. Shooting speed. I really, really, really want machine gun cannon shells. That just sounds fun to me. So we're gonna work on that. Fortunately, it's gonna take four minutes. But we might still be killing biters by then. Not get hit by a train. Come on, Edgar, drop a train on him. Name that quote. All right, where are we going? We're going to see the wizard up north. Basically straight north of where I am. Okay. Now what's our max speed now that I have legs in here? Our max speed is 63, 63.4. If I take out the legs, does go down okay i wasn't sure if it was just an acceleration thing or also a max speed it does seem that the max speed is affected as well oof there's a lot of big spitters here they actually can deal real damage to the tank maybe i need this shooting speed upgrade and the damage upgrade while we're at it. No, oh, I can't queue it up yet. Oh, the tank with legendary nuclear fuel, it's gonna got it's gonna got the zoomies. Guys, I've lost my capability to speak words right at this point. But we've been streaming for eleven hours, so that's fair. I don't know how Troopin did twenty four hours. Did he sound like a zombie by the end? I feel like he kinda sounded like a zombie by the end. <laughs> Thanks for alerting me that the tank is being damaged. I am aware, because I'm driving it. Um, there's really no easy way. I feel like I am gonna have to start doing solar stations for five. During the day, we'll power a radar. Because there's no easy way to get power out this far without big blueprinting of roboports and stuff. He sounded like one pretty early on. The word's gone, but the voice was still there. But yeah, I mean, I'll take I'll take my my 24 hour stream for old man as well which just involved me going to bed in the middle of what was essentially a 24 hour stream. All right, close enough. That'll at least reveal some chunks. Drive through the gap, 
Oh, I missed the gap. Okay. Mind the gap. Mind the rocks. Mind the big worms. Try to swerve a little bit. I do like that we kill big biters in one hit. That, you know, that corner caught me last time. Almost got the upgrade. 72% done. Swastika skillfully avoided. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is in a very unfortunate shape, isn't it? Um, why? Why did history have to be like this? shells. hope I brought enough shells. We still have about half of what we brought. Okay. Yeah, the downside is that it will only last half as long. That is a good point. But we're about to experience it. Here we go. 98%. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, now that's some destructive power. Beautiful. Alright. I didn't kill all these spawners. And now I would like to... I mean, do we really need more damage? It's a huge boost. Do we really need more damage? Uh, the quality tank itself doesn't shoot faster. But... I'm not sure about handheld weapons. We can find out, though. So the ammo itself doesn't have a shooting speed effect, just damage. And the guns, also no shooting speed effect. So the shooting speed is only based on the, the research. But yeah, I probably should do more damage. That actually makes my ammo more efficient. Yeah, you can't get more than a one-shot, but the thing is, I'm not one-shotting a lot of things. And the worms in particular are taking a lot of hits, and the, the spawners are not getting one-shot. Though it's close, but a little more damage should mean that I one-shot basically everything, which will be nice. Ooh, was that a an attack party or an expansion party? What was that? I don't know what that was. Alright, pollution cloud's about to hit these two as well. Do I have enough ammo for that? Maybe. There is no overkill, only open fire. Now the, here's a copper patch. That's a copper patch for, for engineers right there. crazy is there's more shooting speed upgrades after this. Like... No, no, sorry. No, there's not. Okay. I thought there was another one. There's only more damage upgrades after this. Which are also significant, but... Require space... Oh! I can already do this one, too. Because it's just space science. I, for some reason, I was like, oh, we don't have space science yet. But I do. I do have space science. Because we did that. 
Also, did we go over the space platform since we started this episode? I did I did make some changes to try to get a little more space science out of it. So what we did is we added a little bar over here to try to graboid some more asteroids. Added one back here. So now we're grabbing a lot more asteroids, and then other than that, than that I didn't change much but we're just trying to get a few more assemblers running. So it's basically what we had set up before. And the other thing worth noting is we were able to find in the Factoriopedia, when you're looking at not the planet itself, but when you look at a space route, you can see that it shows you the asteroid ratios at different distances from Nauvis. So when you're going from Nauvis to somewhere, You'll notice they all start at the same ratio, so that is the ratio I have right now, I think. Which is only 15 a minute on the oxide, 30 a minute on carbonic, and 45 a minute on metallic. So we ran the math, and like, we're, ice is always going to be the sticking point. So, uh, does control clicking or shift clicking move research to the front faster? I don't think it does. No. No. No, and no. None of that did anything. Um, I think that's fine, to be honest. I mean, it would be a nice little feature, but... Aquilo is going to be the meta pack for space science, says Cheesinator on YouTube chat, because the chatbot's not working anymore. Uh... At least in this case, it's known to not be working for a good reason. Because YouTube has not given enough quota to Caster Labs. How many of these do I care about? I kind of care about all of them is the problem. I will kill that one because we are near it and we have a few shells left. Yeah, I could just build more platforms. I think at this point, though, I'm making enough space science, or close to it. We should look at our average production. But yeah, I could probably more easily make another platform than expand the one we've got at this point. So... Anywho, that's those biter bases taken care of. our way back home um is it worth trying to roll a rare tank now that we have quality two modules what does 30 a minute even mean i don't think i think it means 30 a minute for the whole space station area i i think you might be able to expand infinitely there might be a limit but i think I think per platform, it's kind of like it's one zone. And so I think you're only going to get that many at most from that zone. I, and I'm totally not certain about that. That's just my guess. Yeah, this this guy down here is going to be in pollution in no time. Um, everything else is fairly safe for now. What is this? A single spitter? He's probably going to find his way over to this radar somehow. I just have a feeling. Um, it's not min, it's just M. Could be per meter, but that also wouldn't make very much sense if it was per meter because then it would, wouldn't give you any asteroids when you're not moving. Though, that is a graph of the asteroids between two places. So per meter could make sense. Mm. Those ratios at least seem to be correct. The actual amounts might not be per minute. Oh, Back's killing me. All right, we got projectile damage six research. So now we've got all the damage. Um, what's going on with iron? Are we okay? I think we're okay. All right, so we're gonna look at space science production. Global statistics, 10 minutes, science, 
Yeah, we're okay. We're getting we're getting more than our uh, necessary amount. M is also used for mile. <laughs> I'm sure it's referencing miles in this game. Yeah, yeah. That's that's totally, totally thing. All right, nuclear power. So that's going. We've got centrifuges. Ooh, power armor mark two. Funnily enough, I kind of want a better tank more than that. And what about upgraded exoskeletons? Even better movement bonus. So then you can fit more movement in your movement for your tank that has more spots because you got a, a rare quality tank. You can see how this quality thing starts to snowball, but it's just extremely slow to get going. Um, that's not our quality chest anymore. Now we're over here. So, got another uncommon. Perfect. So now this is at 9.8%. That's like an actual percent now. You know, one out of 10, pretty much, is gonna be uncommon. So that's a thing. Um, I'm gonna get, how much does it slow me down though? I didn't look. It's still interesting. It's still only minus 5%. Okay, good. I guess that makes sense because you can't really use speed modules to offset now. Because uh, that reduces quality again. So that does make some amount of sense. And then what's the, that's 15 second, this is 30. So that's actually exactly the right amount. So why is this not running? Oh, it's slower because of, yeah, yeah. Uh, so many interesting things going on with quality and whatnot, but let's, Grab some centrifuges and start getting some uranium. I have to remember to put a limit on that. Uh, actually, I don't want 50. Why, why do these stack to 50 of all buildings? Of all buildings that should stack to 20, it would be this. Um, dear goodness. Centrifuges less than 20. Does a requester chest with trash unrequested and no items being requested essentially just become an active provider chest? I don't think requester chests can have trash. What do you mean? What? Weird. Wait, requester chests have trash slots? Is that new? What the heck? I don't remember that being a thing. Um... So, yes, I think you're correct. That basically becomes an active provider chest. Wow, that's so weird that they have trash slots. I would never have thought of that. Because then that would mean you're putting something back inside of a requester chest. Um, which feels really odd. What's this? Oh, just parameter. Now I can add all those common tier 2 quality modules to the blue chips. Yeah, so... It's so weird, because, like, now I can start working on getting more commonly... More common, uncommon modules by using... Oh, uh, it's just so confusing. Um, by using uncommon... Tier 2 quality modules. It's just a hot mess. Alright, Kovarex, maybe? Yeah, it's pretty cheap, actually. It's only blue packs. Might as well. Um, but it will take a hot minute to get enough spicy, extra spicy green rocks for that. So, for now, we will probably run a couple regular fuel cells. Put this way down here. Fuel cell. So what would quality do? It doesn't look like it does anything based on the Factoriopedia page, but I can put 
quality cells here. Well, I guess we'll find out. Um, no time like the present to attempt such things. The quality of the uranium. Ugh, I don't want to do that. Um, right, you sort out the spicy, spiciest rocks. Extra spicy, despite having less. What's more spicy about having less molecules, you know? Missing entire protons or neutrons or whatnot. Alright, and then you're gonna overflow into a box. It's convenient. Um, quality uranium for quality uranium ammo. Yeah, I'm not thinking about doing uranium ammo yet, but that is a thing I could do, I guess. What do uranium cannon shells need? I guess that's a thing. Um, basically, I just add a 238. Oh, that's not bad at all. I didn't realize they were that cheap. In fact, can you use productivity on that? No, probably. compare these two so the area basically yeah that I wanted to see if there was differences other than just damage and they have slightly more area of effect obviously more damage and more piercing power so it is worth doing um, quality nuclear fuel would make the crafting of quality Fusion reactors. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So somebody was saying that on the YouTube comments, too. Okay, I get what you guys are saying. Yeah, that's totally a thing to help you make the... We haven't unlocked it yet. This thing. That's only 200 packs, so I'll do it. But yeah, we need four uranium fuel cells, so getting the higher quality fuel cells would get you a guaranteed quality portable fission reactor so many words um what's our chance for spicy rock very small very small chance 0.7 percent so what i might do instead is just productivity to get as much fuel as possible and then where do we want a nuclear reactor? Closer to water. Probably way over there. I'll fly the fuel cells over. Uh, maybe I'll put it down there. Feels kind of far. We'll put the fuel cells in a provider chest. And then we need a requester chest or and plates. The pipe previews on the map screen are slick. I would agree with that, blank. Steam infrastructure for a nuclear reactor is pretty expensive. Yeah, I really should have started doing the heat turbines a minute ago. Uh, where are we? So you guys are working on centrifuges. We also need to be working on all this crap. Heat turbine, copper, steel, and gears. They're all the same thing. can just add copper, eight, 500, pump up the steel to 300, pump up the gears to 500. Just 
just make sure we're using bulk inserters here. And let's see, heat, exchanger, are we requesting pipes? No, pipe. 100, why not 200? And then finally, heat pipe with the long inserter. Perfect. Couldn't have done it better myself. Mostly because I am myself. Right, these bad boys stack to 50. Uh, those stack to 10, which feels backwards to me, as usual. We'll go to 60 on that, and we'll restrict you to 30. The reason I'm automating these, I think in this case I could probably add enough for myself just by doing some more stuff manually, but we're gonna need more of this stuff later, and I might want some on another planet, I might want some on the space platform, I'm not really sure yet, so I'm just gonna let this go for a while. While we work on various things, that'll... That'll fill up. I do need more Logibots already. Logibots, assemble. I could do another cargo size. That's that's a decent uh, upgrade to just help reduce how many you need, of course. But what's wrong with another few hundred? Should I automate inserting them into the network? Maybe. I kind of like to keep a hand on how many there are at first until I feel like I can just let them fly free. Why are we getting so few blue circuits? Um, copper issue? Interesting. I'd probably be a lot better off if we replaced with Assembler 3s and then we at least did something, you know, like this, just to help things out. It uses a lot more power, but a free 8% on blue chips is a pretty big deal without any other changes. And faster at that. For the portable reactor, will only a higher quality fuel guarantee better quality reactor? Correct. Without higher quality other components? No, no, no. Sorry. You need higher quality of all the components to guarantee crafting a higher quality fusion reactor. So, like, if I wanted a higher quality Power Armor Mark II, let's say Uncommon, you see here, it needs Uncommon of everything. Otherwise, it won't work at all. So... Whenever you're crafting higher quality stuff, you really gotta make sure you've got plenty of higher quality ingredients. All right, there we go, 10.4%. We broke the 10% barrier. Which is still not insane, but now I have more of the regular tier twos, which at least will get me pat to 8% normally. So, that's a thing. Um. What's going on with our copper? Probably this is going on with our copper? Yeah, that's what's going on with our copper. Um, in fact, I might even need to upgrade these so they're a little faster. So, nuclear reactor. Now we just need the actual reactors themselves. Which, oh, I always forget how expensive they are. Good gravy. Um, do I want to automate that? I think I will, but like, one at a time. Do they stack to one? Imagine legendary nuclear reactors. Oh, dear goodness. 
but yeah, we'll do stack size one. Wire one. Everything is less than one. All right. Um, so you need concrete 200, steel plate 200. I already forgot what we need. Red circuits? Yeah, red circuits and copper. All right. All 500. Okay. Circuit, 200. Copper plate. Add quality, maybe you'll be lucky. I mean, no reason not to. You can't do productivity. Roll the dice, baby! Get that 8% chance. So if I do roll a quality nuke reactor, we get an extra 12 megawatts out of it at 30%, as usual. And obviously it has more health, but that's kind of mostly pointless. Man. So legendary nuke reactors are 100 megawatts apiece. And that's not counting neighbor bonuses. I'm probably going to do a 2x2 two two to start, I think is my plan. Oh my gosh. The bots are everywhere now. How's charging? Are we able to keep up with all of that? Power is sort of keeping up. Is coal keeping up with power? Looks like yes, we are. So that's good. Is the train keeping up? Looks like these are still balanced. They're all at 23 or 2400. Okay. <laughs> two by two to start. Me, who takes a good 40 hour. Will higher quality reactors make a bigger explosion? Asks Vesely on YouTube. Now there's the question. Probably not, I would guess. But... You never know. Ooh, did you hear that? The, the rock made a little little Geiger counter. I love that. I love all the new sounds. We still haven't gotten one spicy rock. Come on now. Really? Really. All right, this is a good spot for ah a beacon or two. power. But yeah, there's an extra 60 and 85%. So. Yeah, a 2x2 two two is... Exactly. That's why I'm doing a 2x2, two two, is because the double neighbor bonus makes every fuel cell make triple the power. And so it's way... And also, with the new circuit connections <laughs> of uh, nuclear reactors, it's going to be way easier to control the not wasting. So, yeah, it's far better to build a two by two, even that can only handle, like only build enough power output for a hundred megawatts. Um, but yeah, Ugh. okay. So we're going to end up with a lot of extra two, three, eight. Over X enrichment. Looks like we've dropped down to 49 science a minute. That's probably due to copper shortage and iron shortage, leaving me high and dry. No, I have enough of those packs. What are we short on? Blue? Of all things? What's wrong with blue? Are we... What's going on here? Is it the... Oh, 45 a minute is 0.75 times 60 a minute. We're getting exactly the amount we're supposed to be getting. Okay, we're fine. Um, what I should be doing, though, is kind of the basic all-around science package upgrade. I should have done this as soon as I had these. Um, I always like to do this where 
that it? No, because that's overall... No, that's close enough. Yeah. Basically just get some free science of all types. Uh, I guess I need to request modules. I'm not making tier two of other module types yet. I really should. the green ones. There they go. This would be way easier in remote view. Um, I guess it would, because then I can just... that? Whoa. That is so interesting. Welcome back, Coniferous. What did you miss? Uh, I don't remember when you left, so it's hard to know. But we are working on nuclear right now. In episode 15... Right after you got space automated? Okay. Space science seems to be going strong still. We added some more rock catchers, but it's always out of ice. So let's see what we're still getting for space. Okay. Over the last hour, we have averaged 70 a minute, which is not bad. Nuclear. Ooh, we got a lot of. Got a lot of sad bots over here. Let's add another charging port. Sad robot! Still don't have enough for a single one of those. Uh, how many of these will I need? 5.82 megawatts. 480 divided by 5.82. Technically, I need 80 of them. I'll settle for 20 for now. No, I want the full now. It'll get there eventually. Painful to wait, though. Painful to wait. We're waiting for a lot of things. Copper, one of them. You can see the steady stream of copper. Arriving. But I'm actually okay with it not going faster than that. And then spicy rocks are still zero. That seems less than optimal, right? Nine. Basically one. One spicy rock out of a hundred. Non spicy rocks. Almost. Not quite. But yeah, we've we've gotten quite unlucky given we've gotten this mini 238 without any spicy rocks. That's pretty bad. That's actually very bad luck. I mean, we're talking I've rolled 0.993 to the power of 515. We're talking 2.5% chance unlucky. So that, that's actually quite unlucky that I haven't gotten any yet. <laughs> um, wow, if only my quality rolls were this lucky. Or unlucky. Well, I guess we just gotta wait. Uh, no, we don't. Sorry, Cover X is done. No, Cover X doesn't work until we have a bunch of spicy rocks. Never mind. Then we can set up a bunch of cover X, but that's a long, a long ways down the road. 
Portable fission reactor complete. Well, wouldn't matter. Don't have any uranium fuel cells. You're glad they added a tooltip to show you what fluid you need in your steam turbine. Jeez, that's funny. Um, where is the tooltip on the steam turbine? Is it just on the turbine itself? Oh yeah, accepted fluid. Steam. <laughs> Need more uranium. Yeah, I could speed module the miners. Not crazy. Still no, still no two, three, five. Have I found a second uranium deposit? I mean, surely somewhere on this map. We've explored a lot of the map. No, holy crap. We still haven't seen a second uranium? Jeez, just kidding. Um, I just assumed, well, don't assume. Ah, uh, haha. <laughs> See, this is why search is helpful. It shows you stuff on the very edge of your understanding. Unfortunately, that patch is probably cut off by the ocean, so there might not be that much more to it. Um, this is plenty once we get Covarex going, but it's not very much without Covarex. And to get 40 spicy rocks, we need, well, let's see. 40 spicy rocks is 40,000 uranium ore. Basically. Am I doing that math right? Because 1,000 uranium ore gives me 100 rolls, which gets me 0 0.7, 0 0.7 spicy. We got a spicy, yay. Alright, so there's our first 10 uranium fuel cells. Could use four of them to make fission, which I will. Because that's a lot better than 16 solar panels, right? 400? Yeah, yes, much better. It's about double the output, and that's not counting the, the fact that it's only an average output for... Uh, solar panels. Wait, what? No. Five more. What's up, Avadi? Welcome, welcome. Um, I guess I could quality module this to give it a 10% shot. It's not a bad idea. Beep. 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 See what we get. Yeah, sixty thousand ore. But I was I was rough estimating. No, we're so unlucky. All right. Um. So that will replace. Ironically, I didn't even have room for. Okay. Might as well fill it up. Sweet. Okay, so now I have more power. Um, I could replace two robo ports with another XO. Kind of annoying to switch back and forth though, but. Do I need batteries? I don't think so. so let's do. Let's just do this. And then we can have one battery, just because there's nothing else I can fit there. Uh, and then another leg. One more leg. Give leg. Give chance to roll. Uncommon leg. 
Nope, 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 nope. Stop, 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 stop. Um. Give chance to roll uncommon luck. Okay. Nope. Sad day. Alright, that's okay. We fast. We fast now. Wow, that actually feels quite nice. Cool. Okay, so now we're just looking at collecting our nuclear bits and bulbs. Oh, I literally can't walk through here. We had squeak through, that would have saved us a full like 10 seconds there, man. Would have been nuts. All right, 20 steam turbines go with 10 of these, roughly. Yeah, it's not exact, but we'll just grab some stuff. And we have our first nuclear reactor. And <laughs> that rant is still fresh in our mind. <laughs> yeah, that's why I brought it up. Uh, that's why we brought it up. Okay, now, I'm gonna let our research not do anything for a bit, which will be good, because it needs some time. Everything needs some time to back up with all the... with all the resources we're spending on nuclear power-related things here. And so the nuke plant is gonna go down here. And we're going to need to connect it with RoboPorts because the robots are going to deliver the fuel cells. So we'll connect that and then have to make sure we have a bolt connection all the way down. Yeah, the reactor is not going to need very much water now because of the steam change, which is going to be great. Cool. Okay, so then we need... Mm -hmm. A reactor. How about... We'll build the one that goes down into the right first, and we'll add the other ones in later. Um... that and then heat exchanger so for now I only need four but eventually I'll need 12 for one like per reactor so that would be eventually levels and I know this isn't the ratio, but boy, if it isn't simple to do it this way. Um, technically, those have an extra 20%. Could I just like wrap around, do something like that, call it a day? How many we got? So that's 20, which is exactly 100 plus another six, 116. So I need one more. Heat exchanger, is it? Um, am I going to barrel the steam and use logic? Why would I do that? Do you guys not know? Here's all we have to do now. So we'll insert here. Stack size one. And now we can do this. Ta -da. Read temperature. Temperature. T. Less than. 500 um, and read fuel I guess we might want to add temperature plus fuel or well we needed uh, oh well now we can just use the fancy new decider combinators to our advantage here because we can do an easy anding together. So basically I want the temperature 
to be under 500. And the fuel cell to be at zero. And if that's true, give it the green signal, go for it. And you'll just go on green signal. Yeah, the new Decider Combinator is amazing. Um, all right. So that really should be all we need. And then some substations here. This is ugly. I'll, I'll put four more in, I think, just to make it look better, to be honest. Even though technically we don't need them. And as far as water, these only consume 10 water a piece. So that means even for a fully running nuclear reactor, we only need 480 water for a two by two. That's still less than half of an offshore pump. So a single offshore pump could run like a two by eight nuclear reactor. That's insane, guys. That's so that's so crazy compared to what we used to need. Oh man, uh, where are those dang little offshore pumps? I can never find them. There we go. I think this is it. At this point, we just need the rest of the nukes, of which I already have one. And then we need the rest of these, and we need enough fuel cells. To feed all of them, which we won't have yet. And then we need to connect the green wire. Cross. water. Uh-oh. They're attacking my base. Where did they come from? Get off my lawn. I'll kill you with my uncommon piercing rounds magazines. Had to be an expansion, right? Oh, wow. They're really killing a lot of stuff. Oh, well, we have replacements. I hope I can kill big spitters with just this ammo. Oh yeah, it melts them. Those damage upgrades coming in clutch. Alright, so... What's going on here? There's their base here? Yep, that seems to be the case. Alright. So let's go grab some ammo munition. And then we'll go take that out. Before that happens, and I forget about the idea of combat entirely, I would like to automate laser turrets so that we can plop those down when desired. No. There we go. Alright, laser turret. I don't have batteries in a request, and those requests are too small. Alright, uh, batteries need to be in a provider. Protect the reactor. Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not making any pollution. What could go wrong? All right, where are the batteries? Batteries are here. Okay. Now we hop in tank. A hundred shots is enough, right? I think so. Hop in tank, go find Viter. Just another opportunity to roll better reactors. <laughs> Alright, where are 
these turrets. Get out of here. Alright, so it must have been a, this base that expanded up there. I am making rocket fuel. I should start using that. Yeah, I forgot about that whole rocket fuel thing being better than solid fuel. Still see a red dot on the map. Uh, over here. That's a worm. Okay. These ones down here are going to start expanding soon. Oh, jeez. Eat that. Um... Yeah, we're gonna need laser turrets down there soon. Ugh. Maybe we should go get artillery on Vulcanus first. Tim, did we leave a Tim behind? Oh no. It's okay. He'll come back eventually. Maybe I should start investing in walls? No, no, no. That's, that's too easy. Um... Oh, I completely forgot one of the steps, which is this. That's kind of a big deal. And... Need some poiples. Now, they don't share heat with each other, so I guess I don't want those two yet. And then, I guess we need heat pipes. Not optional. Oh, they do share heat. Oh, okay. In that case... I'm back. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that to you. Why do those have so much fuel now? I guess I hadn't set it properly. I don't know. Hey, there we go. Power! I got power! Nice. Oh, and isn't that just... This is just such a perfect ending for our episode because we're just almost at 12 hours. We're at an hour and seven minutes for the episode. So for those of you on YouTube, I think we will call it here. Uh, we'll keep streaming for a couple minutes, but for you future YouTubians, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below, and I'll see you all in the next episode.